Hello out there, we are on the air. I'm going to send out the pat signal, let people know that I am live. Just one moment, have to send all the links. Sorry about the uh, slight delay. Put the link in two spots. Oh, we are blowing up. Hey, hey, Landon, welcome, welcome. Mark, rough week of practice for secondaries. I lost one of my two starters, too. Yeah, um, Corey, the uh, Texans GM, also had a uh, tough practice. Just so you guys know, I'm going to turn practice injuries off uh, from week 18 through to the end of the playoffs. I mean, the RNG and stuff's fine in the regular season, but we'll just leave the in-game injuries on uh, then. Hey, Dean, welcome, welcome. The GMs are in the house. So I already did my practice. Uh, we're going to basically get uh, straight on to it. A reminder for you guys. Hey, hey, Dakota, welcome back, my friend. A reminder to you guys that uh, have teams get your, um, <clears throat> pardon me, <laughs> here. Go into scout players, go into region breakdown, and do at the top left here, west, central, northeast, and southeast before we advance tomorrow. Oh, Mark's uh, sharing uh, some details about uh, him sharing their game afterwards. Love the fact that uh, we're seeing multiple streams and clips and recaps of the games. Uh, if you guys are feeling this, I'm having a great time with it all. So anyways, you go to Set Focus Scouting here bottom left, and you select what you want them to do. Uh, oh, I guess I'll set them back to outside linebacker. All right, let's take a quick look at this deadly Houston Texans roster. Shout out to Corey, who uh, has been a key contributor into making all of this stuff work. He has by far the most experience in connected franchise in those. Hey, hey, Corey, yes, oh yeah. Go on, we'll take a look at this roster and tell me uh, if everyone else in this league agrees. We have X Factor, CJ Stroud, already up to an 85. Dangerous. Look at these running backs. Damian Pierce looks like the best of them. Devin Singletary, who I have a personal affinity for. Two rookies who are either of them, uh, oh, is an injured. Hidden Dev. If the other guy's a hidden Dev, my man, geez. Okay, James Sullivan's normal, but three deadly options and a nice power back there. The RBs are good. Man after my own heart, having a fullback. Love that. And look at these receivers. Jalen Waddell as an X-Factor. Nico Collins, superstar. Tank Dell. Tank Dell's just a beast and on a rookie deal. Keelan Thomas, is he also hidden dev? You dirty dog. Like, you have offensive weapons out the wazoo. Dalton Schultz, better than the average tight end. Let's take a look here under uh, ratings. Simply by overall, he's the number 12 tight end in the entire uh, league as of right now. Thomas was a, your first round pick. Oh, well, there you go. Laramie Tunsil, probably top three left tackle. Okay, yeah, Clyde Richardson's hurt, but you have an excellent backup of 75. Come on. Oh, oh, damn. But still, I'd say an above average O line. I see what you mean with the injuries. Oh, losing Will Anderson, that is a tough scene. But you have depth. You have depth. 
I did see, yeah, Jones is hurt. The league has a whole lax depth at center. Yes, I don't know if you guys saw in the uh, draft class, though. It looks like we finally had some generated. And by all means, um, in the offseason, move some players you draft over to center. We can create some of our own. Christian Harris, who I loved when I was using the Texans last year. Deion Jones, who I loved when I was using the Falcons um, two years ago. Blake Cashman, don't know too much about him, but probably solid. Derek Stingley, up to an X factor at corner. Dangerous corners here. Your secondary is not to be flexed with. Jalen Petrie, love this man. And Marcel Barnes, who looks like a solid prospect. One of the best kickers uh, we have in this version of the league. Jake Elliott, 99 kick power, 90 kick accuracy. I I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this young man's uh, last name, but excellent punting as well. Moon St. Jude to starting uh, strong safety. Ah, word, word. That is very cool. Oh, yeah, he's 6'3". I dig that for sure, man. Also, I think uh, he's a Canadian, which, you know, all of us biased uh, nationalist fellas. I think there's a large Canadian contingent here in the uh, chat tonight. All right. We're going to get into the game. I will do the negotiating with players afterwards if anyone wants to stick around, but I don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's do it to it. Rookie safety is questionable in coverage. And Mark's saying Canadians understand how to hit things hard. <laughs> valid, valid. Ooh, player spotlight. Notice your QB is leading your team and rushing by a mile. Yeah, he's been wild. And Jelani Woods has been our best receiver. Like, what even is this? He had a great week last week. It's a small sample size as well, this only being week three. It's weird seeing Deion Jones rock 42, but that is one of my favorite numbers, so I can get behind it. I think it looks nasty on a uh, middle linebacker. I mean, heck, I uh, had Ricochet, our running back, uh, wearing it. Over under, 0.5 jiggles interceptions. Smart money's on the over. Woods, 85 yards receiving per game. Yeah, it's been so weird. He, like, again, small sample size, but he's been electric to start the year. And I will get the Discord up and going uh, sometime between overnight and tomorrow. At least have a few more things in there. It's very bare bones. Oh, we're the Sunday night prime time game, Corey. People know. People know. Corey, never would think that uh, when you got Ayuk and Jameson Williams. Well, yeah. The, the Jameson Williams thing, I'm not sure if I've explained this when you were on stream. The uh, Lions went buck wild the first off season signing all these wide receivers, and Williams was fourth on their depth chart. So it's half because he's a unicorn, crazy speed at 6'2", but he wasn't going to get used, so I like to think I saved him. Yeah, well, that's because um, of the uh, best thing I got in the story generator. I'm going to post um, all those results. I kept track of them on my phone, so I'll just do the old copy-paste in the next day. So you guys will see everything that happened uh, based on the spreadsheet in the offseason. And why it took me like three, four days to get all that done. CJ Stroud will uh, start things off here. From their own 25. And Damien Pierce. Tackled by DJ Reader. No gain at the line of scrimmage. And you see there Tariq Woolen out for the game. He hurt his hand. Second and ten. Notice you have all your top wide receivers in the slot, so I move my top DBs in the slot also. Oh, I didn't really realize that. Because why would GMing 25 teams take time? <laughs> and Waddle with that signature dance, first down and then some. Sorry, I was half looking at the chat. I kind of missed the distance he got. It was plenty, like 25, 30 yards. Another first down in tow. Finding Dalton Schultz. 13 on the catch. And they are in field goal range, especially with uh, Jake Elliott kicking the ball. 
Hand off to Pierce. Brought down by Wakabayashi at the line of scrimmage. I see what you mean. Losing your left guard and your center uh, definitely causing a bit of a problem on any inside runs, it looks like. I think Schultz missed the game against, uh, oh, Landon, the um, Chargers. I remember things. Four-yard gain. It'll become more of a reflex when I think Landon, because he's a Saints fan and Jiggles' his coach and back of QB are named after him. I want to say Saints. Oh, nice catch, Nico Collins. And Stroud is looking insane right now to start this game. He is ready for prime time. Tamar Hamlin starting the tackle. Isaiah Simmons cleaning up. 18 yards on the catch. 12-yard line, first and 10. Another handoff to Pierce. And Danielson wraps him up, but a gain of six. Nice, strong run by Pierce. Pierce um, just developed like a goon for me. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you guys are aware. Last year I was streaming a Texans franchise when I was on PS4. Still batted away by Danielson. That's why he was a first-round pick, baby. Also cool that in real life we might see a white corner uh, get drafted in the first round in actuality. Uh, I think that'll take all, this out, all, the way us up, all the way up to three in the league. I can't talk because CJ Stroud is scrambling my words and scrambling the defense. Touchdown, Texas. Oh, and the kid and play kick dance, that insult and in injury flexing on me. Cooper Dijon. <laughs> yes, thank, thank you, I think. I... I don't know. Back-to-back -back weeks giving up a rushing touchdown to a QB, says Mark. When I was simming for the 49ers, Lamar Jackson was wild. Two rushing TDs, and one of them was 50 yards plus. Um, I know he's a corner. I, I don't remember his name. I, I don't follow college football all that well. Most of my uh, prospect knowledge comes from learning things a month before the in actual draft so his name eludes me. I'm a casual, filthy, filthy casual. Well, I gave up three rushing TDs to Tua today. Yeah, the quarterback scrambles are doing the job. I, I believe you, Corey. It probably is. I'm just saying I definitely don't know for sure. Over a 1,000 yards. Is that the week three or week two one? The week two one was crazy. Oh, Jagels somehow turning that from being a sack into a pittance of a one-yard gain, but the difference in momentum for not being sacked is huge. Week three. Yeah, you know what? That Ravens game was... Jeez. And uh, this offensive line that I thought I'd built up to be effective... I don't know if it's that or if it Jiggles has nerves, but not good to start. And Jameson, you're looking for a contract and you can't catch the ball. That was right in his hands. Landon definitely don't want to meet the 49ers in the playoffs. Oh yeah, they're uh, they're nasty. You guys will see them twice on my streams alone. Corey's saying he got a gift. A eh, little bit. I guess better to be lucky than good, but you guys shut me down two out of the three plays. And nice field position to start, too. This is scary. Like we lost yards on that uh, possession. And throwing it out of bounds. Great throw by your QB. It was. Jameson just whiffed. If he actually catches the ball, that speed, he's the ability to make someone miss, get a little bit of uh, yardage after the catch. It's all fantasy now. And Snoop spooking uh, C.J. Stroud there. First round pick in the first offseason, the uh, left end who developed to an X-Factor after winning Defensive Rookie of the Year. I think 12 and a half sacks. Because I'm a dirty dork that remembers his make-believe football team statistics. Oh, first down, Dalton Schultz. Couldn't contain him to the three and out. And you see the difference losing Tariq Woolen has as Kalen Barnes, a 66 overall, out there covering the tight end. It's 
Six minutes left here in the first quarter, about halfway done since we do 12 minutes here. Another one to Schultz. And another tackle by Barnes. Why didn't I sign a free agent? Oh, for the week? I, I like Barnes. I think he plays above his overall. So I'm fine with it. It's also just a one-week injury. Nice job. All right. Hold, guys. Bend. Do not break. Hold them here. Make them try and kick a 55-pluser. Please stop them. And it is caught. Danielson knocking him out of bounds. Jalen Waddle, his second catch of the day. From the logo here, this is a deep field goal attempt. Let's see what 99 kick power will do. Kick is up. And it's wide left, it looks like. I caught a break there. Literally, if you had three, four more yards, Corey, that kick would have been made. Still, even if you dropped... Uh, him below Barnes in the depth chart, he'd play in your dime package. Um, I have Jimmy Ward, who I picked up in free agency to mentor uh, Garnett. So in the uh, dime package, he'll show up. To Ice Bear Wyndham, the third round pick. The big speedy boy. Nine yard gain. First uh, successful pass on the day for Jiggles. And there's Ricochet, first down, first time we move the chains. Oh yeah, Ward was great for the Niners. Like, you can definitely tell I'm a 49ers fan based on this team. <laughs> and the fact I'm shadow GMing the 49ers. Oh, just out of range. I think he's 6'5", but the point is taken. Yeah, getting that plus four speed in Excel um, from the story generator was huge. Oh, and Tiny, what are you doing? Running into the pile, somehow gets three. That feels very fortunate. And we're just on the cusp of field goal range. We're about where the Texans had to try and kick it. Oh, Jiggles. Running for the first and change and dives! Everything worked out perfectly there. He didn't magically fumble the ball, which feels like is what happens when he runs for 10 plus. That is so lucky. Literally, my uh, offensive lineman being laying on the laying on the ground kept the sack from occurring. Purely just the physics of the player, flat on his gut. Mike Vick esque, says uh, Corey. And Tiny Stolar is on the carry. First and goal on the three. Everything Pat has wanted for two seasons in his QB. This is true. Oh, uh, he means Ice Bear Wyndham, uh, number 10, who's enormous. Touchdown, Tiny Stolars. And touchdown, Cardinals. Yeah, that was very close to a long field goal attempt. Snatching a victory from the jaws of defeat, to be sure. Dicker is good, 7-7. Seven to seven. Oh, uh, one sec. What's that? Oh, they left it. They didn't have to go up. Get thrown out. Accidentally left some food in the oven. Whoopsie. Hey, and taking a look at the scores on the bottom uh, between the CPU teams and user games that finish. Oh, big hit. Who who had the tackle there on Pierce? Sorry, guys. I'm doing a lackluster play-by-play -play job. I'm trying to do this like Joey Styles at Barely Legal solo. Isaiah Simmons on the tackle. I remember back in the day when Jiggles was like a 75 overall star dev. Well, he, he was um superstar out of the uh, the draft. But yes, getting the offseason awards, which upgraded him to X Factor. First down to Jalen Waddle, by the way. I believe his third catch on the day. Yep, up to 40 yards. Swerve Garnett on the tackle, our other first round pick. Gain of four by Singletary. 
Oh, no, no, that's okay. Just wanted to say uh, he hasn't developed quite that much. <laughs> Just, I, I got lucky and he was a superstar out of the draft. And a nice bit of gang tackling there. Third and eight to end the quarter. Things are very even here. Well, except the passing yards, my god. Third and eight. Corey, would have been hard for me to start the rookie running back over Pierce. Fair, and first down. Yeah, Pierce has it simmed really well for me last year. I realized different game upgrades have hit differently, but he was good. And Schultz is beasting for you, my man. First and ten near midfield. Stand tough defense, come on. Oh, nice blocking there. Gain a seven. And good uh, running, unlike uh, Tiny, who just gets hung up on his own uh, offensive lineman half the time, it feels like. Oh, knocked out. Nearly caught by Collins. Corey likes how Stroud stood in the pocket with pressure around him. Yeah, he, uh, he slow sims like a beast. His uh, traits must be excellent, and I, he probably has one of the better throwing motions, too, because he gets it out fast, doesn't take many sacks from what I've seen. Obviously, we're early in the second quarter. First down to Jalen Waddell, and we're just on the fringes of field goal range yet again. Going to make me sweat. Honestly, we are the underdogs in this game, I believe. Big run by Pierce, first down and change. Great, just like in real life, says Landon. No argument there. So first and 10 from the 29. Uh, I believe the Texans are one and one. They lost to the Chargers, I believe. And I forget who they beat in week one. Incomplete. Feel very fortunate there. The catch is complete, but immediately tackled. Gain of five on the play. And technically now in the red zone. Oh, a throw to Singletary. Beat Carolina. Stroud with the throw. Fourth and inches. Let's see what they do now. Big stop there by Swerve. Big pressure he applies. To Tank Dell as well. I'm a big Tank Dell guy. And the choice is to kick. I kind of like it. I'm a wimp that uh, likes to take the points most of the time. And that one is good. Oh. I do not remember who number 28 is, but trying to get in on the uh, business there on the block. So the cards bend. We do not break. I am happy with that result. I'm not thrilled. I would love no points, but... I will happily take that over what likely should have been a touchdown drive. The momentum still firmly in the Texans' favor. Jiggles taken off. Uh-oh. And he dives! Jiggles, you are my hero as of late. <laughs> Only three pass attempts. And that'll be Ricochet. He gets the first down. Stood up when crossing the threshold, looks like, before he was dropped straight back. Yep, Landon's saying Jiggles is learning. He indeed seems to be. He's evolving before our eyes. A little check down, gain of four. Not mad at it. First reception by Ricochet. I, uh, I didn't love how Tiny was simming in the last game, so I'm giving O'Shea a lot more uh, work, it, I believe. It's going to be sort of a split backfield until one of them really proves themselves. Gain of only one. Third and five. Another big play. Shotgun formation. Looks like a gun bunch. Jiggles taking off. Oh, does not dive this time. Getting the first down. 
That uh, Texan secondary really uh, causing problems. Thankfully, Jiggles able to find daylight a few times here. Gain of three by Stolars. Up to 22 yards on the day, including the uh, one score we put up earlier. Heavy on the rushing this game. And I was going to say throws it away, but throws it between defenders. Jiggles. Now, oh, I was going to say empty backfield. I didn't really see um, O'Shea there for a second. Oh, no, that's tiny. Apologies. And incomplete, and this is not field goal range. That is tough. Big stand by the Texans. And let's see me get mad at the uh, punting, because this is going to go out of bounds at, like, the 20. Oh, I take it back. Good punt. Yeah, Corey saying good job, defense. You can say that again. Big stop there. Man, Jiggles not airing it out as much as I'd like. Probably not options, though. We saw him throw a, a lot last week. Gain of nine to Schultz. Last week being yesterday. <laughs> Second and one on the 22. And lots of time to uh, march down the field now. Clock management is big here in the second quarter. Let's see what the penalty is. Big beastly power run by Pierce. Oh, and we get bailed. RNG Jesus. Answers our prayers. Um, I know Schultz has been a pro bowler. I'm not sure if he was most recently in this universe. Or you're saying he might be this season. Very well could be. There we go. Pierce gets his first down back. Lots of motion here. As it's chewing up over a minute already. Down to four minutes left here in the half from their own 25 this season. Mm. Hey, if he keeps doing stuff like this, he will be. Pass to Diving Hamlin. The rest of the secondary teams up to take him down at the 45. Gain of 20 on the catch. And Stroud doing a great job. He's looking like the better QB. Yeah, speak of the man himself, Corey says. Oh, big catch by Collins, evading Leonard there. Simmons on the tackle, down at the 20-yard line. First and 10, and the Texans are just eviscerating us right now. We miss Tyreek Woolen like crazy. It was great coverage. It was better receiving, though. Yeah, that was an amazing play by Collins. Stroud is so poised in the pocket here. First down again, first and goal on the eight, as that'll take us down to the two-minute warning. Like, I can't say enough. The talent, the play calling, the clock management, the wine, the bread. Pierce the only uh, back in the backfield. And again, avoiding the sack. Completes the pass. Gains two yards out of it. Stroud is phenomenal. Like, my defense is playing well even. It's just Stroud is playing better, it feels like. Could use a big play. Not going to lie. Could have used a bigger play. Stopped at the one, though. Still big. This is scary. Woo! <laughs> Third and goal on the one. Goal line stand. I formation. Oh, it's all tight ends. Beefy boys out there. And the fullback. Andy Pierman carrying it in. My other QB scramble at the first sign of pressure in your other league, says Corey. Yeah, that's not Stroud. Stroud is here to grip it, rip it. Let his running backs ca carry the ball, get hurt. Let his fullbacks do the short stuff. Ooh. I love fullback play. I'm thinking of not just because of this game in the last. Uh, I am thinking of changing from the Eagles playbook. There's no fullback formations. And I don't love the amount of read options, to be honest. I feel like there are better options for what my team is built to do. 
Not sure who Pierman is. He had an 80 lead blocking. Ah, just good uh, scouting by yourself. Landon saying Stroud is here to play football, not take tests. <laughs> True. So 45 seconds to take it 75 yards or maybe get in field goal range. Let's go, boys. Not the start we wanted. Incomplete. And Taylor only two for seven. Jiggles having a horrendous first half despite some good scrambling. Third completion of the day. That'll be a timeout, finding the Ice Bear. Gain of 11. Oh no, that was Jelani Woods, the other giant. Now finding the Ice Bear? I don't know who caught it, but it was nice. Oh, and another one. That is the Ice Bear, 100%. And they might just take it down and kick the field goal, it looks like. That was a great catch. I will happily take three points at the end of this half. I will also take Jiggles having his X-Factor activated as we do receive the ball to start the second half. Ice Bear Windham, two catches on the day for 21 yards. And that one is good by Dicker, the kicker. Back in Texas where he was a college legend. I'm sure some of you could probably tell better than I could. Uh, I, it's all hearsay for me. Although it was why I targeted him in our Texans franchise. Stop, stop. Good, good. Yeah, that was a good half, Corey. Oh, man, Landon, full sympathy. I just saw that score again. Miami is terrifying. So many speedy boys. Texans seem to play some close games. We really do. We love the, uh, the drama, apparently. Yeah, 54. So one touchdown game we received to start the second half. Landon doesn't want to talk about it. I don't blame Taking it out. Takes it up to the 22. All right, Jiggles. You had a nice uh, close to the second quarter there. Build on it, please. About half the offensive yardage that the Texans do. Amazing we're still in this. Like it, this is a close game. But never mind, still in it. Gain of nine by Tiny. I think I like Tiny carrying the ball less. He seems more impactful when he's fresh. Used sparingly. Oh, ricochet. No gain in the carry at all. And that was a baffling route I'm embarrassed for you if we don't pick up the first down I am going to be upset I am upset wow what a stand by the end we're punting of course that is the right call but I'm hot about this good job Texans that's all I can say and uh, yeah this Eagles playbook don't love it. Full momentum for the Texans as well now after the three and out. Nine yards on the first carry. Two more carries, nothing. Chase Thomas filling in for Will Anderson. That's right. That's the backup. That's depth, baby. We, our defense has done a good job containing Pierce. X-Factor QB runs three and out. Yet he didn't throw the ball or run the ball. It was just the running backs three straight times. Not sure yet. I've got a few options I'm uh, debating. After seeing how the 49ers one is going, that looks like a lot of fun. I don't know if it's just that I made Purdy OP. And a first down to Jalen Waddle. Oh, if you guys have to play the Tex Texans pack a sack lunch, this is an all day job. Oh boy. Big tackle by Swerve. Twenty for twenty-five. Stroud is definitely dealing. Swerve with seven tackles. Good for him. Oh, big, big pass to Nico Collins. Twenty-one of twenty-six. Now we have no answer for C.J. Stroud. Finding Jalen Waddle, another first down. 
That's for sure field goal range on the brink of the red zone now. And his X Factor is activated. It's the Dots X Factor, which I don't totally recall. I don't know if it's perfect accuracy in the pocket or if it's improved accuracy or what it is. There's a scramble. He does not slide, but he gets the first. And he's up. And pumped. Stroud is on fire. Oh, perfect accuracy. Oh, boy. This is bad. There you go. Throwing out of the sack. Ah. Well, it didn't deactivate for him here. <laughs> wow. What a dive by Brian Danielson. Breaking up the pass to Collins. Third and five. Bend, do not break, fellas. Oh, touchdown, Texans. Finding Keelan Thomas, the rookie wide receiver. That is a gorgeous fade pass right over the shoulder. Willie Mays style catch. Out of range of Danielson, who made that amazing diving stop beforehand, but definitely a physical mismatch. Yeah, Corey saying he's a big man. He is, to be sure. And that is now a two-touchdown lead halfway through the third quarter. We need to put points on the board this drive, I feel like, or this is really going to slip away. Also, to try and take some of this momentum away. Chip away. We can't... Uh, tie the game in one possession, but we can work our way towards it. x Factor still activated on our end. Hopefully we don't run all game. There we go. Oh, that's the wheel route. That's Tiny Solar's the fifth. That's what I'm talking about. Touchdown on one play. 79 yards to Tiny. And that is definitely going to inflate Jiggles' stats here. As he was having a very mid uh, game, and now he's like 80 yards bigger in the box score. That is huge and clutch. Oh, Corey's saying the wheel route in Sim has a 98% success rate. You know what? I believe you. And Tiny is nasty with it. 93 speed, 96 excel, and like very, he's a receiving back at 82 overall, so his receiving stats are very nice. He is a beautiful third down back. I just don't want him, he is not a bell cow. I like him as a kick returner, get out there, take about half the uh, snaps, maybe less. I, I have high hopes for Ricochet. You got to build him up though. Oh, stepping back, play action, gain of five. Big stop by Garnett. Garnett's doing a good job bailing out his teammates on uh, stopping these guys. Corey, we had a crazy overtime win in one of my leagues where the slow power back caught a wheel route for 70 yard plus TD to end the game. Wow, gain of only two. Okay, guys, this is huge. Can we force a three and out? Thomas, who got the touchdown last uh, trip down the field with the catch there. Big play, big play, bad. That is a big play for them. And Tayshawn Leonard thankfully caught Jalen Waddle, who with 98 speed easily could have taken that to the house. So, oh wow, yeah, he was cooked. How did he catch up? He had to slow down a little bit on the catch. That's the only way he caught him diving there. Plus, oh yeah, Stroud's accuracy is crazy. Plus with the dots activated, nasty. Finding Schultz, that's a gain of like 38 to the two yard line. First and goal on the two. Wait, was that Schultz or was that Keelan? I can't keep track of who uh, the 80s are.
two backs in the backfield. Oh, that was Thomas. Okay, thank you. I'll remember 87. Touchdown for Damian Pierce. He took it the hard way. Oh, he's swiveling, though, like what Rick Rude. Hello, ladies. I realize that's Val Venus. Don't correct me. You know what? I, I'm not even mad. I have a, a love for the Texans after last year, and especially for Pierce. Yep, this is the stage uh, called bargaining. Worst Rick Rude gyrating ever. Yeah, oh, it was, to be sure. Has Owen Popo's uh, lady friend's portrait airbrushed on his uh, pants. Terrible. All right, Jiggles. This is a shootout. Can you meet the call? Down by two scores again. And Tiny stopped at the line of scrimmage. That's, I'll be honest, a little more what we've come to expect out of our uh, beloved Tiny. 400 total yards for the Texans. Holy. Big catch by Jameson Williams. Possession catch, gain of eight. His first reception on the day. Corey, any idea who got beat on the wheel route TD earlier? Not sure. Mark, your team might be losing, but your team's wrestling impressions are far superior, and that's what really matters. And we lose our right guard, who's actually a center. And it's a three and out. Everything is terrible. Everything is garbage. And I might be changing the playbook. We're running on third downs when down two scores late in the game. No. This Eagles playbook is not for me. All Jiggles' best runs are when it's passing plays and he scrambles anyways. Not these design run BS nonsenses. He is not Jalen Hurts. We could only wish. Trey Lance is starting for the Patriots? Um, no, the uh, Raiders. Baker Mayfield is starting for the Patriots. Trey Lance was my QB in the uh, Houston Texans franchise, so I do have a uh, fondness for him. Second and four, gain of six on the pass. As my play-by-play -play slips. Oh, Hobbsy and DJ Reed are te teaming up. Not much gain there by Pierce. Oh, no. Oh, you did. Um, they probably played. I think it might have been Patriots against Raiders. You definitely did see Trey Lance's name, though. He is starting. And first down to Tank Dell. Is that 30 completions? I gotta ask, what playbook are you using, uh, Corey? Because this is beastly. Read option for you, and it's not called six times a game. Gain of two. Wakabayashi on the tackle. Single back. Two tight end formation, it looks like. Or I can't count. Dallas! Ah! Oh, no, I just didn't see Nico Collins at the bottom of the screen. Gain of nothing, it looks like. CJ is a beast, for sure. Mark would have thought my D-line monsters would have dominated, but uh, they've lost it pretty badly. That is true, although this is a big play here. Big stand, guys. Keep it to two scores. Oh, my God. No. Oh, broken up. Nico flying through the air and swerve. Broke up the catch. Or Nico dropped it. I don't know. I, I think... I'd like to give credit to the defensive players so everyone looks good. An amazing throw by C.J. Stroud. That could have been six there. That was absolutely perfect pass. Dots is a great X Factor. Damn. I went with um, Gambit to avoid the uh, computer interceptions. We'll have to take it 89 yards if we want to score, by the way. Great punt. You're kicking. See, that is not Dots, is it? Yeah. You give me some things to think about, my man. Second and ten. Gambit is still activated. Wow, and there it goes. Trevor Lawrence, your other QB, has Gambit. And 
There we go. We just lost uh, this one. Third and ten. Every play is big. Every play is huge. Jelani Woods. Jalen Petrie slowing him down, but that is a gain of, I want to say, 25. Had 100-plus yards in uh, the Week 2 game against the Seahawks. Has been held fairly quiet today. Beautiful out route, though. Outside the numbers. I mean, bit of a mismatch with uh, Dion, jo Dion Jones or Devin White. Ah. Uh, I forget. Whatever. The middle linebacker. Who's that on? Stop it. Thank you, Dion Jones. Corey with the correction. Who was that? Charlie Ray, damn you. He booked, He looked old and slow. Well, eh, fair. First and 15 now on our own 40. And a run for Tiny. Like, hold on, guys. I want to quickly check. I have not seen Ricochet in forever. Is he hurt? Dotrieve out for the game. Okay. Doesn't look like he's hurt. Ricochet, there's even a play call for him below me here. Okay. So I'm just not paying attention. I use Dallas too. My offense isn't this beastly, says Landon. Well, the Texans, though, like, take you saw the overalls and the uh, abilities these guys have. What a running, ridiculous improviser pass to Woods. Finding the 6-7 Colossus. Corey asking what scheme Landon uses. Wow, great throw. Jiggles is so much fun. I can't wait to build this man up. And that puts us in the red zone to the 25-yard line. And Gambit bit is activated again. There we go, Ricochet. I called for him so many times. And he just gets tackled the line of scrimmage. Injury timeout. I'm not going to disrespect the man by attempting to pronounce this. I have no practice with that name. I believe that animation means he will be back in a few plays, though, most likely. Ten and a half remaining in this game. Jiggles, lots of time. Finding Ayuk, I think, for the first time all game. Gain of, I want to say, 17. Landon, I just do whatever has the most team fit, which has to be vertical zone run. If it helps, I use vertical zone run, and it is my um, scheme of choice, Landon. Second goal from the eighth. All right, Ricochet, gain of two. I'm using run and shoot for most of his league, says Corey. Empty backfield. Six yards to go, second and goal. Jiggles. Oh, what is that? Whoa! That is a touchdown, finding Tiny Stolars. I need to see a replay. That is like a weird precision pass. Getting right when he turned. Oh, wow. Like aiming for the cone. Nice angle, EA. Yeah, that was some cheese. We take it. Give me that good Gouda. Corey, that's the rule with uh, the, this Cardinals team. We just, all we do is play nail biters. It wouldn't have been right to not be a one score game. I would have, yeah, the trajectory of that ball, I also thought that was eight feet out of bounds. I thought he was going to be on Shaq and a fool here. And taking the touchback. Nine minutes, 12 seconds remain. And then Mark saying me three. Just a ridiculous uh, throw. Stroud three and out here, says Corey. Oh, I don't know. Still got them dots going. Calling audibles. Being a tricky boy. Looks like a linebacker on Nico Collins. Yep, Isaiah Simmons was covering him. Gain of seven. Is that like 80%? 31 of 38? What a game. Big tackle, gain of only one. Mark, now would be a great time for my D-line to show up. Yes, it would. Third and two, I assume they're passing. Single back. Heavy on the tight ends. And finding Jalen Waddle wide open over the middle, up to midfield. No, it was a pass, Corey. Fourth, it was only a ploy. Uh, 
again, I'm not mad at how my defense is playing. Jalen Waddle, CJ Stroud in this form, Nico Collins, all studs. Schultz has looked great. Man, oh, all five of the receivers. And Pierce has been solid. Pierce has probably been the worst part. And he's been great. What a hit on Waddle. But Waddle holds onto the ball, bounces back up like nothing doing. Mark, I would be disappointed in your front four. I am a bit. Oh, a breakup. I was hoping it was a fumble, but Wakabayashi breaking up the pass, thankfully. God, he's had that X-Factor activated this entire second half, it feels like. It's field goal range for sure, at least. Stroud back. I don't think I've gotten a sack all game either, and we normally get like three per. Another completion of Dalton Schultz. 8 for 85. Maybe one of the best QB performances I've seen. Yeah, no lie, Corey. No lie. First and 10 on the 12. Hand off to Pierce. No gain. Wakabayashi was waiting. This is how two was doing me, says Landon. That's fair. And Stroud finding Keenan. Thomas? I don't know. Thomas, yes. Keelan? Keenan? I'll get it right someday. Third and one on the three. Interesting position to be in, and it's touchdown to Thomas. Had those stats. Another two-score lead. And time is slipping. Only 5-12 left, so if you just keep your foot on the gas, you guys are winning this. Keelan, uh, maybe, says Corey. You know what? He'll make us remember his name. Oh, nice juke by O'Shea. I need something to cheer for. And he ran out of bounds. Clock management. I'll take it. Gain of four. Not the worst part of my day, to be sure. Jeez. Chill out, Jiggles. You need to calm down. What is that? And how is that possible? His X Factor was activated. I didn't know that was a thing, legitimately. I'm switching the dots. Interception, Derek Stingley, who is a beast. And I think you can wrap this one in cellophane, because they'll have excellent field position. Waddle, 9 for 133. Wow. Only the first turnover of the day, but... You know, Jiggles always has to throw one. There we go. Waddle's 10th catch of the day. It was, yeah. I mean, we can always check afterwards, but I am positive that his X Factor was on. Maybe there's something, because Stingley has some uh, superstar abilities where it... Can I get a single sack? No pause. 436 yards on the day. You just have to tip your hat. This is a masterpiece. Joey said, I'm late. Let's see the pick six. It might be a little late. We would need a turnover type of situation at this point here. As they're chewing clock, under four minutes left. Smart to do the run. Mark, I think that's only the second pressure for you of the game. Yeah, about that. There we go. No, Lobo. Oh, yeah, what is Stingley's? Uh, doesn't remember the name. We can always check another time. And Hobbsy is going to the tent. His day is done.
And the field goal is good, putting them up by three scores. So it's not totally over, but it, it's close. We would need near perfection for the last three minutes and change for it to be anything but an L on our heads. And 41 points as well. That's not a good start, Tiny. I have to take it 83 yards to make it to the house here. 506 yards of total offense so far. Incredible performance by Houston. And Jiggles in garbage time, finding Higgins. First down. Ooh, the no huddle. How avant-garde. It's like you're Jim Kelly all of a sudden. Nice topical re reference. Who was that pass for? Your girlfriend? My word, second and ten. Finally, you look to Ayuk. What is that, his second catch of the day? I sound so negative right here. That is his second catch of the day, though. And Jiggles taking off. All right, let's get something cooking. Sliding at the logo. I'm starting to forgive you. Let's try and make the box score look a little less absurd. Finding O'Shea. Breaks a tackle. Give me something to take away. Now the two-minute warning. Okay, well, that just ate up about 86 seconds. So, uh... We're pretty close to done. Landon, when's the next advance? Uh, I forget when I... Uh, tomorrow around noon Eastern, though. And finding Ayuk. Okay. Had those stats, boys. And, of course, not going for timeouts. I think our coach even sees it. Really? Play action? It worked. All right. Finding the ice bear. Hey, Tyler, already, but I've got to pick up my daughter. Thanks for streaming. Everyone take care. Look forward to the next one. Thank you, Corey. You have a good one, too. GG. Congrats on the W. Mark, monkey paw moment. Pat wishes for a QB that slides, and he gets it, but his offense forgets how to play. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm not even that mad. Texas is just good. Pass broken up. Come on. Give me a garbage time TD, Jiggles. Make it look good, at least. And broken up. I assume they go for it, so let's see what happens. Indeed we will. GG needs to ban Stroud. <laughs> this was not fair. Some games will be like this, no, man. And denied. Turnover on downs. And there was Jones making up for... Not an amazing performance earlier. So I assume you'll run the ball? Chivalry? Indeed. At least it wasn't 54, says Landon. That's true. 41 is a bad look, but it wasn't 54. And tomorrow's a new day. Yes, it is. What? Oh. Acting disappointed while running out the clock. I don't know why that's very funny to me, but it is. Uh, any of you that want to stick around after the game, I'll do my negotiations. It's pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions, by all means. GG to Corey. That was a whooping. And a lesson learned. It's 41 to 24. And the handshake between the two young phenoms. We were beaten by the better team. Oh my god, 78% completion rate for Stroud. You just have to applaud that. 37 of 47 for 438, two touchdowns. Jiggles, 17 of 31 for 279. Two touchdowns and an interception. Uh, 
the 79 yard reception by Tiny makes that look a lot better as well. Damien Pierce, 49 yards on 20 attempts. Tiny, 9 for 34. Ricochet, 6 for 10. Jiggles, 5 for 57. CJ Stroud, 3 for 19. Jalen Waddle, 10 for 153. Dalton Schultz, 8 for 85. Keelan Thomas, 6 for 74 and two touchdowns for the rookie. Nico Collins, 6 for 97. Ice Bear Windham, 4 for 61. Brandon Ayuk, 3 for 25. Jelani Woods, 3 for 76. Okay. Tiny, 2 for 85, and both were touchdowns. And no disrespect. Actually, I will see on your defense. Yes, Derek Stingley with the interception. That's how many plays you ran. Look at this. Swerve with 17 tackles. Simmons with 19 tackles. Only four TFLs on the day, though. No sacks, no interceptions. Just, we were taken apart. We were taken apart. And I need to hope Dotrieve isn't hurt as well. Oh, only nine staff points. I'm sure you guys have noticed the staff points accumulate very slowly. No! Oh, Hobbsy! Torn Labrum. He will miss three games because uh, one of those weeks is this current week. That is a blow to be sure, but uh, our rookie will uh, be getting some snaps at least so silver lining i guess that is tough all right let's negotiate so rashawn slater who uh, before landon was the chargers i traded uh with the chargers to get but was the reason that he ended up with a top 10 draft pick uh plus brian robinson plus bj ojalari so i i'm sure he's not mad and he is my pick this year so i i spent a hell of a lot to get this man and as a result, I'm willing to spend a lot to keep this man. He's 26. Yeah, I'm going to give him a six-year deal. And hey, look at that. Six years... $163 million uh, contract. Will you take it? He's excited to sign the great offer and stay with the team. Welcome back, Slater. Tariq Woolen, also a key acquisition for us who I would like to uh, sign long-term if possible. Ooh, that is a bit of a spicy price, though. Hmm. Okay, we'll go five years. Yes, that pick was Shepard, Landon. Okay, so this says it'll be 77 million over five years. It's getting tempting. Okay, so he has less interest, so we need to throw him the bag. Jameson Williams also not particularly interested. And you can see uh, he wants to be in a state with no income tax. He likes that we have jiggles. Like, it would be much worse if we didn't have a franchise QB. Okay, so player friendly. Yeah, three year, $33 million deal. I can dig it. You know what? Let's sweeten the pot just a touch. Three years, $34.5 million. Uh, what I'm thinking here, definitely will probably keep and use Williams for at least two seasons. Um, and then that'll give us room to pivot if we want to maybe trade or keep him when the bill comes due on all of our draft picks. Oh, Landon, then yes, I'm very happy with that trade. Wonderful. Williams, he was hoping to get that type of offer. Next season will be great. So we have Williams for three more years. 
I'm tempted to just offer a couple years to Jelani Woods. He's been a bunch of fun here. He really does want to play here. Let's offer him a two-year, $14 million extension. Yes, sir. The big man. Our own version of Kyle Wood, Jelani Woods, six foot seven beast, is back. So um, I have a general philosophy with re-signing players. Guys that are in the regression phase, like 30 and older, I usually will wait till the off-season to see how much they regress, because they usually will want less. Similarly, young players, I try and re-sign them pretty early. Then we have the mid-tier of guys that are like in the 26 to 28 range. I generally just keep try and re-sign the ones I plan to keep if they want decent money, and some of them I let walk. Most of these guys we are letting walk. Paris Johnson, he has a 50-year option coming up after the season. But uh, yeah, we'll wait till after the year about all these veterans on one-year deals. Jake Fromm, Kalen Barnes, and Troy Anderson, though, I am interested in keeping around. Especially for these cheap, cheap prices. Let's see about three more years out of Anderson. We can give him a $1 million signing bonus with that. All right, he's happy to get the deal done. That's a good price for a backup uh, middle linebacker who has... Good speed. He's a slow sin beast, I think. Speaking of slow sin beasts, Kalen Barnes doesn't even want a signing bonus. My guy, you deserve something. And you know what? We're, we're going to sign him. We're going to sign him nice and long because he wants to be a part of the squad. We'll give you 200K every season for those six years. How about that? $9 million dollars. For the next six years, Kalen Barnes. What do you say? Exactly what he was hoping to get. Like, you know, depth is important, and I, I feel like these guys simulate well. Jake Fromm, Project Fromm, the lab rat, he just, he's a seven year. 100%. There's zero question. Seven year player. Half of that guaranteed. Uh,. Yeah, we'll average that to 2.9 per year. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to keep attempting to re-sign Tariq Woolen, but I think that is basically my re-signs for the year. Uh, Justice McKee looks interesting, but I'll probably just let him walk. I, I'm good at wide receiver, especially after re-signing Williams. Someone else will have him. He'll just gain XP being on my roster. And like I mentioned, all of these uh, guys in their early 30s, I will wait until they regress to re-sign. So there's some advice for free if you were looking for it. Uh, for those of you in the league, next advance is tomorrow around noon Eastern time, which is oh, approximately... Oh, my math is going to be wrong here. I want to say 17 hours from now. You could have been anywhere else in the world. You chose to spend it with us. I appreciate that. The Cardinals appreciate that. Oh, yeah, Jimmy G regressed hard, Landon. Um, I have the regression slot here. Before I jump out, uh, XP sliders. We'll take a quick look. So I got some of these from online. I think they're largely Mr. Hurricanes, but slightly uh, tweaked. So normally these all default at 100. They're slightly tweaked because players you know, should gain at different rates. Like, quarterbacks gain so fast. This whole time we've had it at 50%, and, like, look at Jiggles going up 10 overall in a single season. The QBs are fine. It also means you don't see guys that suck but are getting playing time going up five overall a year. Uh, you can see that with Perillo in, for the Giants. He was a 71 out of the draft. He's a 73 right now, and that's basically playing full-time. Fullbacks never get used, hence the 300. Anyways, so the XP progression rate. At different ages, guys will gain XP more quickly and less quickly as time moves on. And the regression rate. 
As you see, halfbacks age like uh, milk. And it is not kind to people in... The, basically, t once you hit your 30s, you are in a harsh, harsh regression stage. Um, there are some things that mitigate that. The story thing that I do, there also, if you have your staff really upgraded, there's a coach ability which can prevent you from... Uh, it helps offset the regression. Uh, nope, that's not it. I think it's over here. Offensive development. Slow ratings regression for one season for one position. So say you're the 49ers, you have Christian McCaffrey. He's like 30 right now, but a 95. And you want to keep him nice and piping hot. You know with our regression sliders, they're insane. And like he's going to go from a 95 to, I want to, if I had to ballpark it, 87 next season. And that's a good scenario. Like Aaron Jones went from an 83 to I think he's a 74 for the Saints at the moment. So it's a steep drop for halfbacks. Anyway, short story long, there are ways to offset it through this, through the story mode, uh, pardon me, through the story uh, RNG that happens, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Also, guys with uh, a higher dev trait, like your superstars, your X factors, even star rating, uh, they will regress more slowly than a normal dev. So it's kind of neat how uh, between that and how Madden naturally works, different positions progress and regress at different ages and in different intensities. So the nerdiness is done. Thank you guys for coming out. Have a great night. Be back tomorrow around the same time. I'm thinking 530 Eastern for the Data Pre-Show. Take care.